Hello everybody, it's me again, uh, Randy Faust from Compelling for Christ Public Ministries. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today, I want you to turn your Bibles to Genesis chapter 3. Um, I, I got a message on there called uh, The Wiles of the Devil, um, kind of uh, off of some of the same text that we're going to read here, uh, definitely the same chapter. Um, you might want to go back and listen to that again if you want to find out how the devil works. Um, um, he's been working the same way um, since, since time began, amen. Ever since uh, uh, God God put him down here, and um, I'm telling you something, he ain't changed. He hasn't changed the way he works because it works for him, Amen. Um, but anyway, we're going to start reading here in chapter three, verse eight. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, please email me at compelling for Christ public PM, uh, compelling for Christ PM at yahoo.com, um, and and I'll do my best to answer them as fast as I can. Um, but we're going to start reading in verse eight. The Bible says this, chapter three, verse eight of Genesis says, and they heard the voice of the Lord. God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Just a little park right there. Listen to this. He heard the voice, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking. Uh, the voice was walking, amen. Amen. The voice will walk. Let me tell you something. Words travel, amen. Um, and anyway, that's just a side note there. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God, of the, from, um, from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees in the garden, of the garden. And the Lord called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou givest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Um, I read this scripture the other day, um, just those those few verses, and I noticed four questions that God asked Adam and Eve, um, and that's what I want to talk to you today is about those four questions, amen. Uh, there are four questions we ought to ask ourselves, um, and there are four questions that um, God is asking you right now. Um, God wants to know where you're at, amen. God wants to know what you're about, um, he wants to show you what you're about, amen, and he wants you to be part of him, amen. Uh, that's his desires, amen, and, and some of these questions God asked Adam and Eve point right to that. Um, and the first question that he asked him is this. He asked Adam, he said in verse 9, he says, And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou, amen. Listen, up to this point in Scripture, um, God walked with Adam and Eve daily, amen. Um, he would come down, um, walk with them, talk with them, fellowship with them, Amen. Had a great relationship with them. They had a great relationship with God. Amen. Uh, nothing sweeter. Nothing sweeter than having a good relationship with God. But what had happened was um, uh, something separated them. Amen. Uh, God's voice uh, started to walk in the garden. And the next thing you know, they're not there. Adam and Eve are gone. Amen. Um, something something caused separation there. Amen. And that's the, the first question that God asked them. He says, where art thou? Amen. He says, hey, you've, you know, you've been down here. You've been with me. You've walked with me. You've looked for me. You've called on me. And now you're gone. You're, you're no longer around. What, what's going on? Where are you? Where art thou, he says. And I want to ask you this today, Christian. I want to ask you where you're at in your walk with God. Amen. Does God have to come looking for you? Or does God know exactly where you're at? Are you looking, are you looking for his presence in your life? Amen. And the next thing I want to ask is to the sinner out there. Do you know where you're going to spend eternity? Where art thou, hey man? Where are you as far as your, uh, uh, your, your place after you hit the grave? Where are you at, hey amen? God, God is, is seeking you. God is looking for you. The Bible says he came to seek and save that which is lost, hey amen? Let me tell you something. God wants to save you. God wants you to come into his family, and he's looking for you right now, hey amen? He's seeking you. He's looking. He's saying, where art thou? Where art thou? Come to me, and I will give you rest. Amen. First question God asked him, he says, where art thou? Amen. Uh, the next question um, says in verse 10, says, and he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, who told thee that thou was naked? Amen. He said, who told you this? Amen. Who, who told you that you were naked? Amen. Let me ask you this question, Christian. Who are you talking to? Who, who are you listening to? Amen. Is it God? Or is it somebody else? Let me ask you this, sinner. Who are you listening to? Are you listening to that voice that's saying, hey, don't go to God? 
Are you listening to that voice that's saying, hey, listen, you don't need you don't need God? Are you listening to that voice that's saying, oh, they're a bunch of fanatics, they're a bunch of crazy fools? I tell you what, I am a fanatic and I am a crazy fool, but I know where I'm going when I die, amen? And I enjoy telling people about Jesus Christ. And I'm here to tell you today, my friend, Jesus loves you. He died on that cross for you and he wants you to come to him. He's looking for you right now and he's saying, who are you listening to? You need to listen to God. You need to listen to what the Word God, Word of God says. It's in this book, How to Get to Heaven, and you need to follow that, amen. Uh, don't worry about what you've done. Don't worry about who you know. Uh, what's in your life right now. Worry about coming to God and saying, Lord, I need to be saved. Uh, Lord, uh, I want to lay this sin at your feet, the sin of unbelief, and I need to be saved. Repent of that sin of unbelief and get saved today, amen. Uh, that was the second question. Next question is in verse 11 also. It says, And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? And then the next question, Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? God looks at them and says, Did you eat it? A little deeper than that. Did you disobey me? Did you not listen to what I told you? Amen. Listen to me. God gives us a rule book, and it's in this book. Amen. And it doesn't matter whether you're saved or lost. This book is the book of law. This is God's book. And God says that we are to be a certain way. And if you're not, if you've sinned, if you've done wrong, that makes you a sinner. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every single one of us out there has sinned. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible says, for there's none righteous, no, not one. There is none that doeth good. Who can know it, amen? Let me tell you something. The wages of sin is death. We've all done it. And God's saying, God's looking right at them and he says, hast thou eaten? God's looking at you and he's saying, have you sinned? He knows the answer. He knew they ate it. He knows what you've done. He just wants you to ask yourself that question. What have I done? Have I done something wrong? Amen. That's the third question. It says, who told thee that thou was naked? Uh, was the second question. Uh, it says, where art, where art thou? That's the first question. The third question, hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? Simple commandment. Simple, simple law. And they disobeyed it. Simple rule, people. Simple rule. Come to Jesus. Amen. Uh, listen to him. Uh, obey him. Pretty simple, amen. If we just get out of our flesh and do what this book says, amen. Um, um, hast thou eaten of that tree wherever I commanded thee? God has told us not to do a lot of things, but we continue to do them, amen. We've eaten of that tree, amen. And then the last thing he asked, he says, uh, uh, what have you done? He looked at Eve and he says in verse 13, let's read verse 12. And the man said, to the, and the, man said the woman whom thou gavest me to be with, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. Um, and then in verse 13 it says, and the Lord God said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, the serpent beguiled me. I did eat. Simple, you know, something to, to think about here. God never asked the serpent any questions, amen. God knew all about him. All right. God knew what he was about, knew what he was going to do, knew that this was going to happen, and he didn't even ask the serpent a question. Yet he's asking of Adam and Eve. Not because he didn't know the answers, but he wanted Adam and Eve to think to themselves, what have they done? And here's what, she, what he said. What, what is this thou hast done? I'll tell you what she did, and I'll tell you what God wanted her to know she did. She did something that broke fellowship. They did something that caused God's wrath to fall upon them, caused death, for the wages of sin is death, amen. That's what they did, and God wanted them to know the seriousness of their uh, disobedience to his word. What they did was serious, my friend. Don't make a mockery of sin. What you're doing in your life is serious, amen. I don't care what it is, if it's going to the bars or going to the casinos, if it's smoking or whatever, a uh, dope or whatever, lying, cheating, stealing, pride, any of this stuff, it's serious business. Christian, let me tell you something, and I, I'm just as guilty as anybody else out there, when we disobey God, that's serious business. And he wanted Eve to know how serious it was. It's serious enough to get them kicked out of the garden. It's serious enough for, to you, Christian, to break that fellowship you have with your Lord and Savior. And sinner, it's serious enough for you to be cast into the lake of fire. You say, I don't like that. I don't care. That's the truth, amen. I want you, and God wants you, to be saved. God wants you to call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, and that's bad news. But, but, the rest of that verse says, but the gift of God is eternal life, amen, through Jesus Christ, his Son. Amen, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, through his blood. The Bible says, uh, for without the blood, there's no remission, amen. The Bible said, the blood that cleanseth from all sin, amen. If you just call upon him today and say, Lord, I need to be saved, ask yourself those questions. Where are you? Um, um, who told you, um, um, have you sinned, and what have you done? 
And you'll come up with an answer that will draw you right to the cross of Calvary, my friend. Bow down today, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you will be saved. Call upon him today. Just simply confess to God that you love him. Confess to God that you're a sinner and that you need his blood to cleanse you from all sin. Thank you.